the shotgun remains to be one of the most versatile weapon platforms on the U.S. market today. The shotgun comes in many different operating configurations from single shot to double barrel which includes the side-by-side -side and over and under configurations, the pump action, the tube fed semi-automatic and the magazine fed semi-automatic just for a few examples. It is used in military applications, law enforcement applications and more importantly civilian self-defense hunting and survival applications. The shotgun gives the user a lot of capability, whether the user realizes it or not. You can go from a less than lethal application by shooting beanbag loads, gas loads and such through this particular tool. You can, within seconds, go from a less than lethal application to a close quarters lethal application. And again, within seconds, if your shotgun is outfitted correctly, you can go to a more long range application. And for the purposes of a shotgun, I'm defining long range as right around 100 yards or so. This particular pump action shotgun I purchased for the purpose of doing these video series and for the purpose of having a good home defense tool that I can also utilize as a good field shotgun. This is a Maverick 88 and I went with the Maverick 88 just because it's very inexpensive but it's a very reliable system and most people watching this are able to afford something like a Maverick 88. The Maverick 88 is made by Mossberg. It's basically a Mossberg with a few little tweaks. This Maverick 88, I have an extra barrel with it. The extra barrel is a 28 inch uh, full choke barrel that is more suited for waterfowl applications, hunting applications. Um, that particular barrel won't be well suited for slugs. You never want to shoot slugs through a choked out barrel. The barrel I have on the shotgun right now is a Slugster, a smooth bore Slugster barrel. It's a 24 inch chambered two and a half to three quarter inch shells. It does have a set of iron sights and it is ported. This shotgun also has an LZ light with a surefire light affixed to it. The reason I put the light on the shotgun is for close quarters uh, home defense type application. And I'll talk more about lights a little bit later on in a different video. Shotgun has a standard stock. I do have a nylon shell caddy on the buttstock of the shotgun just for the sake of having extra shells on hand in the uh, event that I need to reload. Now I hope to go over a lot of things. I hope to go over close quarters use, longer range use, using this in the field versus using it in close quarters, and I hope to go over some of the myths that are out there regarding a shotgun. There's various myths out there one of the more popular myths is you don't have to aim a shotgun in order to use it in a close quarters situation. That's false. I will say that right now. I'll go over a little bit later uh, in a different video at some point, but that is a false uh, statement. Along with the statement that women can't handle shotguns. Yes, they can. You just have to be a little bit more careful in load selection and you have to make sure the shotgun fits her frame. Shotguns come in many different configurations, many different pull lengths, uh, barrel lengths. And if you pick up this shotgun and shoulder it, and then pick up a Benelli right afterwards, you'll notice the difference. Even a Remington 870, there's a world of difference in how each shotgun feels to the user. So that is a myth. You just have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, if it's a female operating the system, you have to be a little bit more careful. My intent behind this shotgun is to have a well-balanced shotgun that can be used in close quarters and in field use without having to change a lot. I do have this extra barrel with, but I don't want to have to rely on changing that barrel. I don't want to have a super short barrel for close quarters, then I have to change the barrel out if I want to go shoot birds to survive. So that's my mindset that I'm going to have uh, behind this shotgun and behind the videos that I'm going to make in the future regarding shotgun uses. Now I hope to teach a little bit and I hope to learn a lot as well. I'm not the first and foremost expert on shotguns. I think I know enough to get me by, but for those of you out there that excel in the world of the scattergun, 
I encourage you to put video responses. I encourage you to post comments because it's all about learning. I want the American citizen that isn't familiar with shotguns to learn about shotguns and understand shotguns so that way he or she can use a shotgun if they need to. There may be a time in one of our lives, whether it's your life, my life, may depend on the proper use of this tool. So if I can get a little bit of info out there, that's great. If somebody else can also give a little bit of info through this video or by making a video of theirs and linking it to this video, that's also great. Because the more information out there, the better. So this is just an intro video. I'm going to get more into specific arenas of the shotgun and videos to come. Again, it's going to cover a lot of different subjects on cleaning the shotgun, using the shotgun, basic fundamentals, rapid reloads, topping off the shotgun, all that good stuff. Using a light, uh, using a shotgun in a hunting environment, in a long range environment. I don't know how many videos it's going to be, but it should be a lot of fun. So remember folks, the shotgun is there. If you can't afford an AR-15, you can't afford any of the fancy stuff, the shotgun is an equalizer. So thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay safe and stay free.